you know, had to choose something. And what I've usually done in guitar choices over the years, uh, you know, mahogany and rosewood guitars, D18 being the mahogany, uh, the D28 being more the rosewood sound, just recognize their differences. Um, recognize uh, even along a sliding scale um, what are the defining characteristics of both where you know with rosewood we're going to get a little more of this sort of fundamentally uh, robust low kind of thing. Uh, with mahogany you're generally going to get a little more uh, potential for uh, mid-range and cut and so again along that sliding scale thing or concept, I want to say, okay, mid-range is great because it helps me hear myself in a session, in a jam session, or on stage, whatever. If a guitar is too kind of low-end heavy uh, and also has just some brightness because of the strings and the metal and all that kind of stuff, the guitar is going to get lost in a jam session. We need mid-range to kind of help us cut through. But also, in the sense of big balance of it all, I don't want a guitar that's just all mid-range and bright cut. Um, in bluegrass, you want to know that you're moving some air uh, with the guitar. Have some poof, you know, some poof to the note. Uh, so ultimately, you know, I see mahogany and rosewood as sort of different kind of characteristics, almost like, um, you know, white wine, red wine. Maybe, maybe that's two, di two distinct different versus like two different varieties of red wine. And I, I'm, not a, I'm not a wine guy, so I'm just kind of... Uh, talking off my head here but similar kind of a thing though as far as uh, I'm ultimately looking for some blend I know that when I look for a good D18 like this 1935 D18 it has all the a real kind of distinct kind of poke to the note here yeah, this sort of what in frequency land you would call about one or two K maybe like upper mids that the a really cutting kind of thing but it also has this uh, Especially from a player standpoint, what I, what it, how it monitors to me, I feel this very round kind of low end. So it's kind of doing both. And for the same sort of character, as I look at uh, a rosewood guitar, I want a, I want a rosewood guitar that has more cut and not just all low end. So I'm kind of looking for a similar uh, sound, just understanding the sort of different characteristics in the shape of the sound. That's where I kind of get into maybe the yeah. It's probably more correct to say different varieties within say like a red wine. <laughs> Again, I'm not a wine guy. Uh, but subtle differences, le learning to sort of appreciate and hear, feel even subtle differences in what a specific mahogany guitar is doing. Bottom line, I want a mahogany guitar that also moves some air. Bottom line, I want a rosewood guitar that also features some good high end and musical kind of carry to the notes, especially as I get up high. this I feel air moving even though I'm playing these higher notes right I may not feel the same kind of low end response as I would in a d28 but it's enough it's enough there that I, I feel kind of covered uh, the same thing with the D28. It's going to kind of cover itself a lot of times with with low end, but I want to know when I go up high, it's not all just just poof 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 with that because that's going to get lost on the higher notes, and I'm going to end up playing too hard. I want to feel that the the, the mid range of the guitar is working for me. So uh, so anyway, I'm not sure that I'm answering your question, but um, if I'm going to pick a D18, it's a 62 D18. Um, I know of some good 60s D18s that are doing exactly what I'm talking about that aren't, uh, that have some volume and some punch. Uh, it's not all just sort of uh, thinner and brighter. So, you know, uh, I bet what you're carrying, and, and just to hear you play on these videos here, it feels like it's doing some good things for you. Um, and so maybe it's, you know, maybe it's the right guitar. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts at least. So uh, for my particular stable, I want to have some of both, some of it all. So uh, I do. I don't know that I've... Sometimes I think about this part point in my life where maybe I just have one guitar that I feel does it all. And maybe I'm looking for that a little bit. I'm not really sure what that would be. This one comes really close. Uh, maybe as close as I've ever gotten. So uh, that's good. <laughs>